Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Journey YouTube channel. This is I, I the Great again. Now, this morning we're going to talk about actually um, the Earth. We're going to talk about the fact that the Earth is alive and living and has feelings and emotions like everybody else because most people seem to um, forget this or don't even believe in it or some shit. And I'm going to explain to you, you know, in depth, so you understand say, why the Earth is alive and why. We're supposed to respect her and treat her good and stop putting down the trees, stop polluting and all of that. You get what I say? But we know say everything is um, according to divine plan, you know. But we just are try to make, you know, make a lot of, make as much people aware as possible that the earth and everything in the cosmos is actually alive. There is nothing dead. Everything vibrates and everything moves. So if something vibrates and every, if everything I vibrates and everything I move, everything carries a frequency. Nothing no dead boy, yeah, you know. Everything I move, see him, everything alive. You get the magic, guys, have the God Force. Now, planet Earth. Everybody seems to feel like this is just a little rock. Outer space so we live on. No, it's actually a living being, which is why it can support life. Nothing dead can support life. And one time they asked one little female, say, if the water alive, and she said, no, the water dead. So I wonder to myself, and then claim that she's a college person who actually have a degree on them something. And I said, oh, the water is dead. And the water support life. Fish live in there. Shark live in there. We are living there. It either move by itself because watch it. If you can see the sea, just watch the ocean and watch the rivers then. What, what cause the river to flow from the source to the mouth? What force? What a force they call? Is that a dead force? I never see no dead flow from the source or, or, or something to the mouth of the river. No, it must have some form of energy where we are guided. You get to me so the water alive, the sea alive, look how you go back and forth, the breeze. The in and the out, that is the oceans. You get to me, I say? The breath, the breath of, the, of life flow through everything, every single thing on this earth. The ocean breathes, that's why it recedes and push and you get the in and the, in and the out, the yin and the yang. Yeah, man, the ocean is like the blood for the, for the earth. You know, the water is like the blood of the earth. Same like blood flow through our body, through streams. You know, the rivers, them flow through streams that look like veins in our body, same way. So above, so below, I now stop talking about that. The law of correspondence, check it. So above, so below, it's very true. It's the most true thing. You get the man say, you can use that law for, for explain everything in the universe. There's a rainbow right there, looking very good, and it's a good sign. You get the man say, that rainbow is not only a sign for me, but a sign for you too. The research about the spiritual reason for rainbow. You get the man say, yeah man, it's a sign for you too, man. A rainbow, research that. Spiritual reason, everything is a sign once you're on the right frequency, you realize that everything is a sign and patterns. You realize patterns with life. You get to me and say everything, I mean patterns and cycles. Every single thing in our existence. And the same thing with the human life too. So. You get to me and say, some people, you know some family them right now. See me back in Jamaica and just have chat a bag or something. You know, and I wonder say, what go on with me. Yeah man, people go through cycles man, you get to me and say. And every time things are going to look a certain way, things are going to change over some time, I have to adapt to changes. And watch me adapt, watch me grow. You get to me and that's how many people in watch that shit. Anyways, we're not talking about that right now. The earth is alive. The earth is a living being. You get to me and say, and every living being in the um, planet, every living being on this planet looks to the sun for energy. And the, and the sun feeds the earth. You get to me and say, I cause the earth trees them to grow. I, I the primary source of energy for every being from the face of the earth. And that, and that source of light that the earth uses to survive. She not consume food. You get to me and say, which is why I'm sure you say, consuming physical food is a lower vibrational state of consciousness. But so yeah, the planet them can produce offspring. The moon is actually a child of the earth. The earth gave birth to the moon. You get to me and say, which is why it connected to the earth. So, and it I affect the tides and all of that. We gave birth to the moon, you know, the earth gave birth to the moon, the sun gave birth to the earth. You know, all of them interconnected the same way. The sun and their mother, them depend on their mother for um, um, energy. Same like how we used to depend on our mother when we in the belly for energy. You get what I say? And the mother did supply all of that energy to where we in the womb. So once the planet them connected to the system, which is the solar system, the sun system, they are continue to feed off of the sun until they can become independent. Same like we, so feed from the mother until we can become independent. You get to me and say? So yeah man, all of the planets, them, all of this um, heavenly bodies, them alive. You get to me and say, I'm going to make a next video on this because, you know, we need to explain it more. Just re realize that the earth is a conscious being and 
it is a conscious organism, it's a living organism which is why it supports life. It can connect to her, it can get downloads from her, it can literally connect to the earth and talk to the earth. You get to me as they believe that. In this time the earth is going through a shift, which is why most of the people in my wake up. She I wake up a lot of people and the earth I do that. The earth and the sun. I do that. The Trinity. The earth, the sun and the moon. And that's how the Trinity with them are talking about in the Bible. You get to me I say, that's how the Trinity now. Information from the moon, all of them communicate. Same like how moon may communicate with Uno, the sun communicates with the earth, and the earth communicates with the moon, and all of the heavenly bodies communicate. It's a giant web of information, guys. Remember that. It's a giant web of information, and all of us just communicate with each other so we can learn. And it's just a learning process. Whatever we learn, we pass on. It's an dimensional being for pass on knowledge. That's how ancestors them used to do, which is why. We can retain knowledge up to this day, and somehow it, 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 it is even passed down in our DNA. The water, same like how the water of the earth store information, the water is an element that store information and knowledge. Same, same thing with the blood. That's how we pass down genetic information through blood. You know what I'm saying? It don't have to be through direct, um, like next generation or whatever. Sometimes it skips generations and all of that. We we'll pass down information through genetics. So even when they destroy the books, them, we still have, to have information. I will pass it down through the DNA. That is how information is stored and passed down. You get to me, I say? So one love, the Journey YouTube channel, big up. My name is this too long. You get to me, I say, big up, one love.